we're Miriam and Tongi, and this is Mighty Van. In 2019, we bought a van, hoping to travel across North America. We spent a year self-converting it, with no previous building experience whatsoever. We turned it into a beautiful, cozy home and took it on the roads of our adoptive country of Canada for the better part of a year. In this build series, we'll show you how we did it. From woodworking to electrical, we'll show it all. Hoping we can help you or inspire you build a home on wheels and leave new adventures on the road. So, we're starting today with a little disappointment. Last time, I painted with Xavier, our friend, uh, this wall and then Tanguy reattached it. But, as you can see, the screw is going away in here also because of the fridge and the rest moving while we drive and yesterday you told me you had like a um, emergency brake you had to brake yeah. very hard yeah so i think that's what uh, pushed the fridge and basically everything behind it against that wall and they didn't like it very much yeah it crushed a little uh, yeah. the two only screw that we put so we were wondering what to store today now we know we're gonna start the structure of the kitchen yeah. in order to fix also the space for the fridge and to be sure that we're gonna avoid that in the future hopefully yeah. so and that's put longer screws up there as well yeah. that's our plan for today yeah Another day of painting for Miriam. She will be continuing on the cabinets and the kitchen especially underneath here, right there. So you can see it's already, there's a first coat, but there are some areas where we can still see. And especially because also I ran out of paint last time. So I used everything, like every little drop of it. Yeah. To finish the cabinets, but obviously we're missing a lot of paint on a lot of uh, space. And you can see also up, like some touch up just to make it really like white with no gaps with no difference of uh of white and next time last time you also did over uh, there and that one also yeah. so for the bump out as you can see i didn't paint inside it's on purpose because we i'm gonna have a little project on my own to do there and to make it uh pretty smooth soft and mushy mushy <laughs> yeah and as for myself because i'm not gonna watch miriam work all morning we just bought some plywood to do the wall in the kitchen this entire area we can see just like we did for the bed area we added some support in between right here using the craig screws system whatever here and some l brackets in the metal so additional support i'm gonna put a piece of plywood here and then we're gonna be going to ikea to buy a countertop countertop because we have the sink because we have the sink yes yeah where is the sink oh, it's we here. keep getting boxes into the van like look at this yeah so we have boxes here we have packages here we have all the electrical packages underneath so and I now did, we I have this one we bought a lot of things from amazon because it's a great source of product but also keep reminding yourself to look also in other type of website and markets for people selling things especially when you build something like that a lot of people they did like a bigger project like a house they've got leftover styles they've got leftover paint 
and they could sometimes have leftover uh, sink because it was not the right one they wanted and they couldn't return it. So check Facebook Market, Kijiji, I don't know what type of website you've got like yeah. that in your country. Miriam is doing an amazing job of finding stuff online. And it's a very small one, it's, it was supposed yeah. to be for a bar. So it's perfect for what we need, for the size we need and the use we're going to have with it. So Yeah, and it was like 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Something like this. And Instead of like 300. We compared the ones at Home Depot that they have that are a little bit bigger, so they can't really fit our space. They're always over 100, sometimes up to 200, 3,000 dollars. 300 dollars. Yeah. Well, great deal, great value. It's brand new, it's still wrapped up. So we're going to go to Ikea today, find Maybe a used countertop because we don't need that much length, I guess. Especially we're going to cover it with some kind of adhesive uh, waterproof thingy. Uh, so we don't care if it's used, we don't care the color. Yeah, it's the yeah. as is, something like that, as yes. is section of IKEA. Yeah. So stuff that yet they used for the floor where they showcase everything or returns. So yeah. that would be good enough for us. Yeah, so we're going to go shop there and uh, Maybe by the end of the day, we're gonna have what's gonna start looking like a kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, exciting. All right, let's get to it. There you go. We have a wall in the kitchen. I think that's pretty solid. We have our wood studs here and here and here. This is actually glued on the studs behind it. This is also screwed to the metal right there and right there. We have our cable tube things that are sticking out. I'm not sure about this one because the countertop might actually come right here. So we'll see maybe if we need to move this one up. Uh, but as Miriam mentions anyway, we're going to have to do bigger holes to put the outlets in the walls, so that's fine. But we will have answers to that when we get the countertop from IKEA, which, we're, which we are going to go into. Whoa! Which we're going to get now! Yes, now! And we're starving, so we're going to eat meatballs at IKEA as well. Yay! We made our trip to IKEA and we found our... how do you say? at the Aziz section mm -hmm. and it's not someone as is it's as is we found this guy exactly why we wanted yes. because we already bought but we will have to sell it or whatever uh something to go on top of any type of piece of wood to be marble but actually that one is already marble so yeah and it's 49 percent off which Ooh. is pretty good which is awesome. And so we made our cut in cardboard because our, our uh, countertop, countertop space is a little awkward, as you can see. Ta-da! This is our kitchen frame. This is all one piece that can move around. You can see here we have some space between the wall and the structure, and the space is not even. So we made a cardboard cut, which is fitting pretty well. But now we just have to translate yeah. that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we just have to translate that into the actual cut on the countertop. countertop. Yeah, countertop that we bought. We did that. I say it looks good. It does. 
So again, some awkward cuts, uh, but we're going to have some, uh, how do you call that again? Sealant. Sealant. Yeah, because in, in French we call it joint. But, but here it has another yeah, meaning. <laughs> it's not going to be joint on our kitchen, don't worry. So we're going to have sealant all over for these little gaps. And also, Miriam, you were explaining to me. That's right, it happened again. I guess that's a teaser for the next video then. We'll be installing our sink in our freshly mounted countertop. And we might also start revealing the decor that we did on our wall. Until then, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video if you did, and we'll catch you on the next one.